All these cold, empty mattresses and falling stars. My, how they start to look the same. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. My name's Doug, and today's video is going to be how to sing like Vic Fuentes, but this is part two of the series, so this video is actually going to be focused on vocal tone. So if you haven't watched the first one, you can click it right there, and that's a pitch video on how to sing as high notes. Okay, so for this video, we're going to break it down into two things. Firstly, we're going to talk about how Vic gets that bright piercing tone, which is actually called singing in the mask. Now, the second part of the video is actually going to be how to free up the tension and make sure that those high notes or just any notes that you want to sing sound good. No tension, solid tone, you know, no breaking or anything like that. So let's get into it. All right, so step one, we're going to be singing into the vocal mask, which is also known as the soft palate. Now, when you sing here, one of the features of it is that it creates that bright piercing tone, which Vic does on every melody. Now, to actually do this, what you need to do is send all the sound, the vocal resonance, up to the soft palate. And I'm going to show you right now how to do that. Just to give a demonstration of what it actually sounds like when you sing in your mask, it's actually like this. It's got that bright piercing tone behind it, so... As I choke, try to wash you down with something strong. You hear that? Oh. As I joke. It's got that bright piercing tone behind it. So now I'm going to show you a technical diagram of what's actually going on in your body when you choose to sing in the mask placement. So to my left, you've got the nasal cavity and the oral cavity. And so if we choose to sing the five vowels of the English language, which is like A, E, I, O, U, um, if you put your fingers on your nose and sing it, you'll notice you're blocking off the nasal cavity and solely using the oral cavity. And I'll demonstrate now, and you can follow along. Look at this. If I block the nasal cavity, A I O U. So I'll do that to the side. A I O U. The only cavity you're using is the oral cavity. So the only time that you use the nose is actually when you sing the consonants N and M. So I'll demonstrate now. If I put my fingers on my nose and say nay or may, nay, may, it gets completely blocked off. So why am I showing you this? It's because when you try to sing the phrase, your goal when trying to sing in the mask is actually to put entire melodies with lyrics up into the soft palate and do your best to get it out of your nose with the exception of the M and N vowels. Consonants, sorry. So you might be wondering why I'm showing you all this, but it's because you're going to be singing melodies and lyrics, which you want to be placing in the vocal mask and doing your best to avoid it getting trapped in the nose with the exception of the M and N sound, which we demonstrated earlier. So when we sing the first line of that song, I'm low on gas by Pierce the Veil, it goes, as I choke, Try to wash you down with. Right now, I'm gonna sing an M, something. Some. Did you hear that? Something. As soon as you sing the M, it goes straight up to the nasal cavity. If I were to perform that, as I choke, try to wash you down with something strong. Sounds good. And that's because I've focused the entire melody up into my soft palate or vocal mask. And honestly, I'm just doing my best to avoid using that nose because that's going to create a really, you know, yuck, blocked off sound. Singers sing into their nose. And you can tell you're doing that by the sound. But also, if you put your fingers on your nose, you'll realize that with the exception of the M and N consonants, which we keep talking about, it will all be blocked off. So like this, like... As I choke. If you aim it into the oral cavity. As I choke. Pretty cool. It actually took me quite a few months to learn to sing in the mask, but in my opinion, it got my voice from, say, here to here because it's the best way to get, like, more power in the voice because you can sing, like, ah. It just adds so much, having that bright tone behind it. It creates vocal freedom and a nice vibrato. 
and it just gives you that nice poppy tone. You know, like, most of the post-hardcore vocals that we do, pop punk, it's exactly the same as pop music because, well, the singing's heavily inspired, like poppy choruses, etc. So, that leads me to the second part of this video, which is going to be, now that you've got it in the mask, we're going to make it so that it sounds good because we're going to have all kinds of throat tension and stuff when we first try this. All right, so now that we can sing in the mask, we're actually going to do the even more important part, which is making it sound good. Now, when you try to sing high and first try to sing in the mask, you probably experience a bit of throat tension because, you know, you're just unable to control it. That's normal and natural. I'm breaking it down to three steps, stomach tension, open throat, and a neutral larynx. So we'll start with stomach tension. Now, I've done even more depth videos on how to actually breathe when singing, which you can probably check out the best one here. Now, my previous subscribers have seen that, but if you're just new to my videos, make sure you check out the breathing section of that first. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate the phrase that I've been singing with a lot of throat tension. So I'll do it like this. As I choke. Now, what I'm gonna do is take that same tension Intense my stomach like I'm going to be punched, like I demonstrated in the earlier videos, like this. As I choke! And I move that tension into the stomach where I'm going to be punched. So it's kind of like a transfer of just the tension in your body. So remember, down in the stomach. So now that we've dealt with the stomach tension, I'm going to show you a bit of a mental and physical fix. So this is thinking of your throat as a cylinder. Now think of it more as a wide open. So for example, like this, like, I feel like there my throat was just expanding like this and it's very relaxed and this is what they call like open throat singing. But like I said, I'm just sort of showing you a little bit because if you're a very visual person, this might really help you. So for example, if I do it with a small throat, as I choke, but now if I expand and open it up wide, as I choke. You see, I like to think of it that way because personally, I do think of it visually. So, third and final step is our larynx. I can raise it like this. <laughs> Making any weird noise that high pitched like that. Or I can lower it with a yawn like. And what you want to do is keep that very neutral because that's going to give you the most balanced and nice sound. So if you're trying to sing a Pierce the Veil song or your own melody, like whichever one you want, you probably want to ask yourself, how am I going to sing this in a neutral larynx? So just so you can hear it, this is a high larynx position. As I choke. See, it's a bit too cut off, a bit too compressed. And if you sing with a lower larynx position, as I choke, it's a bit too dopey, doesn't really have the power that we want. So you can bring it back to a neutral position like this as I choke. You know, that nice balance between the two. So thanks so much for watching until the end of this video. I truly believe that the stuff that I showed you today is actually the sort of things that got me from here to here within the span of 12 months of this vocal training. So I'm very happy to be sharing that with you guys. Make sure to leave a comment on what other videos you'd like and give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel. It would really help me out. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a good week.